I'm Vijay from CUET 100 and here in this video we are going to discuss examples of all types of reasoning questions that appear in general test of CUET UG. I appeared in this test myself and scored 100 percentile. You can see my scorecard here on your screen. All right. These are the topics that appear in reasoning, analogy, coding, decoding, blood relations, odd one out, directions, logical sequence of words, Venn diagram, puzzles, clock and calendar, match the columns type, dictionary test, missing number in figures, figure counting, dice, non-verbal reasoning and a few other topics. We are going to discuss two or three questions of each of these types now. Here is your first example. Analogy. In the given question, select the related word from the alternatives. Man is to biography is nation is to. All right. Man's story is biography. Nation's story is. Come on. Tell me. History. Simple. All right. Okay. Acquire, obtain, secure what? All right. I have a small trick for you. Acquire is a verb. So is obtain. So is secure. Your answer should also be a verb. Option C, humorous, that is an adjective. Amusing is also an adjective. So, your answer has to be one of procure and over. All right, but of course, here the answer has to be with secure, it would be procure. Isn't that? That's your answer. And this question had appeared on 8th of August. Mind you, these are all actual questions. Okay. This is an example of coding, decoding question. Uz. All right concentrate on us. So this us, O is the 15th letter and Z is the 26th letter. So 15 plus 26 is 41. So this us is related to 41. What about KL? Now you know how to get the answer. K is 11th, L is 12th, so 11 plus 12 is 23, right? So this KL is 23. So A4, B1, A4, B1, A4, B1 is only in option C. So this is my answer. Why do I need to check any further? This is how you get the answer. Another example of coding, decoding. All right, they want us to get the code for diamond. D is coded as 2. And I is coded as, as 1. So it should start with 2, 1. This is out of question. So is this. All right. All right. Look here. So of A and C, 1 is your answer. 2, 1, 0, 5 and 2, 1, 0, 8. So first 3 are common. And M is for what? M is coded as 5. All right. So this is your answer. Okay. Simple. These are the types of questions that they ask you. Okay. All right, blood relations. Kalam says Ravi's mother is the only daughter of my mother. This is Kalam. This is Ravi. Ravi's mother is the daughter of Kalam's mother. Ravi's mother is Kalam's sister. So Kalam is Ravi's mama, maternal uncle. Isn't that? That is the answer. Okay, this is an example of blood relations question and it appeared in CUET UG general test on 6th of August. Pointing towards a person in photograph, Mohit said, he is the husband of the only daughter of the father of my sister's brother. Father of my sister's brother is my father as well. Isn't that? Okay, so he is husband of my sister. Is as simple as that. So straight away the answer is without getting into writing any solution, the answer is brother-in-law. Isn't that? Can you get a question easier than this? Okay. All right. What about the next one? Odd one out. In this question, four words have been given of which three are alike in some way and one is different. Rose, Lotus, Jasmine and Sunflower. Apply your brain. Okay. All four are flowers, all right, but out of these four, there is something different about lotus. Lotuses are grown in water, remaining three are grown on soil. So your answer is lotus, all right. Another example of odd one out, 
motorcycle, metro, bus, car. What do you think is the answer? Come on, tell me. It's quite simple. What's the answer? Metro, why? Out of these four, only metro runs on a track. Answer is metro. All right. Okay. Directions. Look at this question. Eight friends A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are placed in this manner. As you can see on the diagram, or rather in the diagram, all are facing outward. This is important. Mind you, if you do not notice this, you will get an incorrect answer. Okay, all of them move one position clockwise, that is in this direction. So E will come here and E is facing outward. So this direction would be what? It would be if this is north, this is south, this is east, this is west. Is definitely looking in the southwest direction. All right. Arpit traveled three kilometer east from his home. We will make him travel three kilometers east. All right. Okay. Two kilometer north. Two kilometers north. Then three kilometer east. All right. Again east. Okay. Then he took a 90 degree turn. So let him take a 90 degree turn and he walked for how many kilometers? Five kilometers. 5 kilometers. Okay. Then he again took a right turn and walked 6 kilometer more. So this time again 6. And mind you, this is 3 and this is 3 and this is 6. So basically now he is in exactly southward direction of the point from where he had started. Okay. All right. So, what else? How far is he from his home? So, if this is his home, okay, this is 2, so this will also be 2. So, this is 3. So, this distance is also 3, of course. So, he is at a distance of 3 kilometers from home. Arrange the following words in the correct order. Omelette, hen, roll, serve, egg. All right. What do you get first? Hen, that is B. After hen, egg b e and then omelette a b a is there an option that starts with b e a yes that is option c so this is my answer okay option c is my answer b e a and after omelette you prepare a roll and then you serve it it should end with d that's the answer all right arrange the following in logical order frog eagle grasshopper snake and grass hey this is food chain grass is eaten by grasshopper okay and grasshoppers are eaten by frog frogs are eaten by snake and snakes are eaten by eagle so grass followed by grasshopper e c a is there an option that starts with eca yes that is option c this is my answer and there is another thing with which you could get the answer in two seconds. Another approach. Here in this food chain, the last one should be eagle because snakes are eaten by eagle. So it should end with B. There is only one option that ends with B. That is option C. All right. So this is your answer. Okay. Identify the diagram that best represents relationship among men, women and human. There cannot be any overlap between men and women. You cannot be men and women both at the same time, but both of them should be completely within human because they are proper subsets of human beings. All right. This, of course, cannot be your answer because men and women, they both should be within human. This also is not correct. Of these two, this one is your answer. Why? Because there cannot be an overlap between men and women. So D. These are the types of questions that you get in the examination. These are all actual general test questions, right? All right. Another example. Please read the details carefully. In the following diagram, the triangle represents doctors. So this is for docs. Okay. The circle represents players. Okay. 
and the rectangle represents singers. Okay, which region represents doctors who are singers but not players? But not players. A, B, C, they are all players. There is only one D who are not players. So straight away without thinking much, this is your answer. And look here, anyway, D is within the set of doctors, right? As well as singers, but not players. So D is your answer, right? Okay. Five men, Ankur, Bharat, Chetan, Dev and Insan. Luckily, not insane. All right. So, A, B, C, D and I. All right. This is an example of a puzzle, the type of puzzles that appear in the general test of CUET. All right. This is an actual question. And vibes, Parveen, Kazi, Reshma, Sudha and Tanu join a dance party. But it is not necessary that the order of husbands and wives are the same. Of course, we understand that much. This is the information that husbands dance only with their wives. Okay. Chetan has a sister Tanu, Chetan's sister is Tanu and has a brother Ankur. So Chetan and Ankur are brothers and Tanu is their sister. So Tanu cannot get married to Chetan or Ankur. Alright? Okay. If Dev has a dance with Tanu, that means he danced with another's wife. So, Tanu is not married to Dev either. Alright? Okay. Bharat does not dance with Kazi, Tanu or Sudha. Bharat does not dance with Kazi, Tanu or Sudha. So, Tanu is not here, not here, not here, not here. So, Tanu has to be here. Tanu is Insan's wife. Alright? Okay. Parveen is wife of Ankur's brother. Ankur's brother is C. So, Parveen is here. Okay. Now, Bharat does not dance with Kazi or Tanu or Sudha. That's okay. Parveen is wife of Ankur's brother. Alright. Kazi did not dance with Dev. Okay. So, Kazi is not here. Kazi is not here. Kazi is not here because these two places are occupied. And Kazi did not dance with Dev. Kazi cannot be here. So, Kazi has to be here. So, Q here, P here, T here. Alright. Now, Sudha cannot be here. Sudha cannot be here. So, Sudha would be here. So, Q, P, S, T. So, who would be here? R would be here. Alright. Q, R, P, S, T are married to A, B, C, D and I. So, let's look at the questions now. Who is the dance partner of Reshma? Who is the dance partner of Reshma? R is for Reshma. It's B, Bharat. This is my answer. Alright, Bharat. If Bharat and Chetan interchange their dance partners, who will dance with Bharat? So, Bharat danced with Chetan's wife. And who is Chetan's wife? Chetan's wife is P, Parveen. Right? Okay. Okay. So, Parveen is the answer. Isn't it very simple? Is it? This question had appeared in general test on 8th of August. Time appears in mirror as 11.9. Then what time will it appear in the clock? There's a trick to this. Whenever you're asked such a question, and if it is a 12 hour clock, okay, take out this time from 12. If you take out 11.09 from 12, what do you get? 0.051. Or 0051, that is 1251 actually. So, this is your answer. Similarly, if they ask you, the time in the mirror is 945. What is the actual time? Take out 945 from 12. What do you get? 215. 215 is your answer. Right. If they tell you that the actual time is 1230. Okay. What would it look like in the mirror? Take out 1230. That is actually 0030 from 12. The answer would be 11.30. That is how you do such questions. Simple, isn't it? Alright. But if it is a 24 hour clock, simple. Rather than subtracting from 12, subtract from 24. Alright. 
Okay, so 1251 of course is the answer. An example of calendar questions. Today is Friday after 91 days. Hey, you must have prepared for such questions. Isn't that? How many days are there in a week? Seven. All right. So after seven days also, it would be a Friday. After 14 days also, it would be a Friday. After 21 days also, it would be a Friday. So after a multiple of seven days, it will always be a Friday. 91 is a multiple of 7. This is 13 into 7. Isn't that? So it will still be a Friday. Okay. All right. If 7th March 2005 is a Monday, what was the day of the week of 7th March 2004? This question is slightly tricky and I will tell you why. 7th March 2004 and 7th March 2005. How many days are there in between? 365. Mind you, 365 and not 366. Why not 366? 2004 is a leap year. Okay, it has 366 days, but the 366th day is 29th of February. And you do not have 29th of February here in this range. Do you have 29th of February in this range? No. So number of days is 365. So whatever was the day here, the day here would be a day ahead of that. And this was Monday, so this must have been a Sunday. So this is your answer. Many people might mark Saturday thinking that 2004 was a leap year. So option B is a trap option, is a trap option. Do not get trapped, please. All right. So answer is, of course, Sunday. All right. Okay, now here you need to match the columns. Book, of course, author, play, dramatist, film, producer, newspaper, editor. Simple, isn't that? Okay, option D. Arrange the given words in the sequence in which they occur in the dictionary. You get two, three such questions in the examination in every slot or that is how the case was the last year. All right. We need to arrange them. B I B I B I B I. But B R here. So of course, the last word would be B R. Why? B I B I B I B I B R here. So the correct option should end with E. Oh, unfortunately, there are two such options B and C, but we can rule out A and D. Okay. B I S, B I F, B I C, B I T. Of course, this would be the first word bicycle because B I C, B I F, B I S, B I T. So it should start with C. Answer is option C. This is how you solve such questions. You don't have to do all the words. All right. Okay. Arrange the following words in the sequence in which the apparent dictionary. R E S is everywhere. Okay. Then. P, P, U, E, O. Oh, so this one should be the first. Okay. And the last one should be B. This one should be the last. Why? Because U. Okay. U comes after P, O, E, everyone. Right? So we are looking for an option that starts with A and ends with B. A and B. This is my answer. Simple. Okay. Option C. Isn't that? Okay. Oh, missing number and figures. You get two to three such questions in almost every slot of general test. Which number will replace the question mark? Let's try to look at the relation. You try to do it first. Just pause the video and try to get the answer. Okay. All right. 5 into 6, 30. 3 into 10, 30. 6 into 6, 36. 9 into 4, 36. That is the relation. 9 into 8. 72, 18 into 472. So this is your answer. This is your answer. All right. Okay. What about this one? Try to get the answer. This is slightly tricky. Okay. All right. 7 plus 4, 11 into 4, 44. 6 plus 3, 9 into 4, 36. 9 plus 7, 16 into 4, 64. 4 being here is coincidental. We did not multiply 7 plus 4 with 4 because we had 4 here. All right. So here, this has to be 4 times the sum of the remaining 2. That is what the logic is. 
All right. Okay. 64. As I told you. How many squares are there in the given shape? Figure counting. In most of the slots, you had one such question. I'm sure you're on a telegram group and you're doing lots of these questions. Isn't that? Okay, let's count. The smallest squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. What about this one? This also is a square. What about this one? This also is a square. Wait, what about this one? This also is a square. So 7 plus 3 and hey, there are two more. This big square and this big square. So 7 plus 3 plus 2, 12 is the answer. How many triangles are in the given shape? Now this is slightly tricky. Okay, let's start counting. The number of smallest possible triangles, 1 plus 3, 4. 5, 9 and 7, 16. 16. Then you have triangles such as A, B, C, A, D, E. So if you have two such triangles from here, from here also you can get two, from here also you can get two. Isn't that? So 16 plus 6. Then the biggest possible triangle, okay, plus 1. How many you have? You already have 23, but then there are a few more. What about this one? If this is B, this is C. Let's say this is K. B, C, K. Okay, so one more. We already have 24, so this is not my answer. This is not my answer. And hey, what about, what about X, Y, Z? If from here we have X, Y, Z, I'm sure from this side also we can get one like this this and this okay so three more so how many do we have now 27 this is your answer this is slightly tricky of course i concede okay all right what about this one dice questions okay in a dice one two three four are written on the adjacent faces in a clockwise order. So if you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 4 here. So opposite 4, you will have 2. And opposite 1, you would have 3. Isn't that? When 3 is at the top, what would be at the bottom? Of course, 1. There's an answer. Isn't that? Okay. Now, another example. And hey, first of all, this is not a typo. This is absolutely okay. Three different positions, P, Q, and R of a dice are shown in the figures given below. P, Q, R. Which number lies at the bottom face in position P? Okay, let's check. Concentrate on a number 6. 6 has four different numbers on adjacent surfaces. 6, 4, 3, 6, 2, 5. So 6 has... 2, 3, 4, and 5. Right? Okay, now concentrate on this. We are going to merge these two dice. Right? Rotate it two places. Rotate this one. Okay? In the clockwise direction. Two times. Okay? Then 5 will come here and 2 would be at the bottom. All right? So 6 is here, you will have 2, 5, 4, and 3. 2, 5, 4, and 3. Okay, so what would be opposite 6? What would be opposite 6? Tell me. Another 4. Simple. But what is opposite 5? Opposite 5 is 3. That is the question that you are being asked here. So this is your answer. Alright. Okay. Find the next figure of given series this is non-verbal reasoning all right two to three such questions in most of the slots of the general test try to do it yourself first you need to practice these questions not much and you do not need much of a guidance either you just need practice i'm sure you're on our telegram group and we have put many actual general tests on our telegram group and you're practicing from there right okay 
Now concentrate on these figures. 1, 2, 3. Mind you, figure 4 is actually a repetition of figure 1. Okay, isn't that? Figure 5 is a repetition of figure 2. So this figure would be nothing but the third figure. This one. And which one is this one? This is option D. That's the answer. Alright. Okay. What about this one? Another example of non-verbal reasoning. Find out the figure which can be exactly made from the sum collection of symbols. One circle, one circle, another circle, and how many arcs? One, two, three, and this figure. One, oh, this is out of question. There are many circles that you have here. You have two circles here, here, and here. All right. Now here, look, this shape is a bit too big for this one. So this also is out of question. Now we are left with these two. All right. So two circles and two dots, this is okay. But here we have one, two and three arcs, but here we have only two arcs. So we are left with only C. So you use elimination technique also in order to get the answer. So here our answer is option C. Okay. Now this is an example of one particular type of question that very frequently appears in the general test. There are three words which have something in common. At times they ask you such questions from geography, at times from general mental ability, at times from history also. Okay, something common to three words. Knight, Rook, Bishop. I'm sure you play chess. Even if you do not play chess, you're aware of these pieces on a chess board. So these are and these pieces of chess are called chess men. All right. Okay. So this is your answer. Option B. Okay. All right. What about this one? This can be done easily. This stands for addition. Okay. Stands for subtraction. Stands for division. This stands for multiplication. This is actually equal to. All right. So 2 into 5 minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 6. This is what is written here. Okay. 2 into 5, 10. Minus 6, 4 plus 2 equal to 6. Oh, we are very lucky. The very first option is correct. That is our answer. Do not start doing B, C, D, everything. The moment you get your answer, just move ahead. You don't have to waste time. All right. So your answer is A. Farming always comprises. Choose the essential word from the options given below. Tractor, land, plow, spade. Even without a tractor, you can do farming. Isn't that? Okay. You can use a plow. Even without a plow, we can do farming. We can use a tractor. Okay. We can do without a spade also. Right. It's possible. But is farming possible without land? Some people in Israel might say yes. But here, <laughs> land is the best answer. Okay. All right. Option C. Watch all videos on CU8000 channel, please. And if you like this effort, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends and foes, subscribe to CU8000 and press the bell icon hard in order to stay informed. All the best.